Round six of the All Flag State Premier League saw top of the table Florida Athena play host to last year's league premiers Balcata at E&D Leetis Stadium. Last year's encounter saw plenty of passion from both sides, but torrential rain throughout the first half dampened much of the fire in this game. That was until the 23rd minute when Liam Boland was shown a straight red card for a high dangerous challenge on John Paul Mills. A surprise Boland did eventually trudge disconsolately from the pitch. Despite being a man down, Floriot never looked disadvantaged and when Ludovic Boy played in David Heaney, it was only Luis Italiano coming off his line quickly that snuffed out a great chance. Just before half-time, Balcada had a great opportunity to take the lead. A quick throw-in by Steve Burton saw John Thornley have a clear run at goal. But his shot was terrible and never went close. Straight after the restart, Ludovic Boy robbed Mills far too easily in midfield and with no one closing him down, shot from the edge of the box and was unlucky to see his effort hit the crossbar. Minutes later, a Brad Effie goal kick was picked up by Balcatter in midfield and Burton played a quick ball through for Hooman. He went to the byline and pulled it back, but Harris and Effie combined to block. The ball rolled out to John Migas, who found the back of the net for Balcatta. Florit's defence was far from convincing dealing with Human's pullback, leaving Migas to simply pick his spot and his shot nestled in the back of the net, albeit after clipping off both defenders. Florit, however, was soon back on the attack. Good work by Jared Smith in midfield saw him play an outstanding through ball into the path of Heaney, who skipped past Julian Madashi and then saw his pullback deflected towards goal by Nunes and only Italiano's reflexes saved Balcata. Italiano saved his team again minutes later when his defence failed to clear. Mills lost possession again and Heaney tried his luck from long range, but Italiano denied him. In the 67th minute, a Floriot corner was played to the unmarked Pritchard at the edge of the box. His mishit volley struck the arm of Madashi and Floriot had a penalty and a chance to equalise. Up stepped Mark Pritchard, who fired home a well-executed penalty, leaving Italiano no chance, even though he went the right way. There is no doubt that Pritchard's mishit shot strikes the arm of Madashi after deflecting off his thigh. Straight from the kickoff, Balcata looked to restore their lead. Mo attack broke down the right, slipped the ball infield to Hooman, who in turn pulled it back to the unmarked Thornley, but he blasted his shot over the crossbar. Floriot continued to play in a style that defied being a man down, and when the ball came back to Pritchard after Heaney's attempted cross struck a defender, he was quick to fire off a shot and was only denied by another superb save from Italiano. A strong challenge in midfield allowed Florit another attack soon after. Sweeney played in Heaney in space down the right, who tried to set up Sweeney, but he failed to get that vital touch in front of goal. In the final minute, Pritchard picked up the ball just inside Balcata's half, accelerated away from Mills, and as Balcata's defence pushed out, slipped a wonderful through ball into the path of Heaney, who side-footed past Italiano to steal all three points for Floriot. Pritchard's run is quality. He keeps the ball until the vital second the Balcata defenders move forward, then plays in Heaney, whose finish is all class. Balcata were desperate for an equaliser as the clock ticked down, and as so often happens, they were caught on the counter-attack. Sweeney found Jared Smith in acres of space and he bore down on Italiano, shimmied his hips to go past him and rolled the ball into the empty net for Floriot's third and to assure them of all three points. Smith shapes to shoot, Italiano commits and Smith slips past him and rolls the ball into the back of the empty goal. A cool, well-executed goal by Smith and Florets fans were singing in the rain. Going down to 10 men in the first 20 minutes, it uh, looked like it was going to be a uh, sort of pretty tough day at the office, but um, yeah, the boys came over at the end. Oh, look, I, even when we did go under with 10 men, I still felt that we had the better of the, the first half and uh, probably you know just a little bit of inconsistency in keeping the ball at, at times, but 
we got it right in the second half and uh, yeah, we fought it right out to the end. <laughs> Uh, five on the trot now, uh, beating uh, fifth place by Hatter and uh, looking forward to it to next week. Uh, you must be pretty confident. Yeah, I always said to the boys our, our next month, starting with Inglewood, was going to be our toughest. And if we could really set the precedence for that, there would be, uh, you know, it would be a good stepping stone for our season. So it's so far so good.